we're going to finish out the week talking about graphing linear equations. Um, and we're going to talk about all of the different forms in which to do that, and then talk about how to write an equation in those forms. So first thing we're going to do is graph equations in standard form. And while I completely understand there are graphing calculators and graphing websites out there, you still need to understand what the graph will look like so that you're not just relying on technology because it's really easy to make a mistake if you do that. So a linear equation in two variables, meaning there's an X and a Y, written in this form, AX plus BY equals C, which means the X and the Y are on the same side. They're typically whole numbers. Uh, they're always real numbers. But those um, A, both A and B cannot be zero. And when I graph it, it should be linear, which means it makes a line. Notice X and Y are both to the first power. If they were like X squared or Y squared, it would no longer be a linear equation. Um, we're not going to have X or Y in the denominator of a fraction. Otherwise, again, it would no longer be a linear equation. And to graph them, we're essentially going to find intercepts. Now, we've already found intercepts, so this is going to be a super easy, hopefully, uh, short lesson for you. So let's look at the first one together. I'm going to show you mathematically, and then I'm going to show you the little trick that I do when I'm graphing in standard form. So I'm going to graph this equation by finding the intercepts. And first, I'm going to let x equal 0. And notice I've already started that one for you. So I'm saying, hey, if x equals 0, then it's minus 3y, and then minus 0 equals negative 6, which is really negative 3y equals negative 6. Divide each side by negative 3, so y equals 2. And on the y-axis, I'm going to plot 2. Then I'm going to let y equal 0, which means I get 0 minus 2x equals negative 6 which is really just negative 2x equals negative 6. I divide each side by negative 2, and I get x equals 3. So when I do that, as you can see, when I'm in standard form, I'm finding the intercepts, and I found them mathematically. And then I'm just going to use a straight edge, or do the best I can, to connect those dots to make a nice straight line. So that's how I would graph. On the next one, I'll show you that same method, but showing way less work. So let's try another one. And in this case, I'm going to show you how I typically do it, because I don't want to have to show all of that work, and I'm not going to make you show that work. I just want you to be able to graph it. So if I'm trying to find the intercepts, and again, this is in standard form, because x and y are on the same side of the equation, I'm just going to recopy this equation twice. 2y plus x equals 4. And what's essentially happening is when I let x equals 0, this plus x is going away completely. So I call it the cover-up trick because I'm really covering up plus x and seeing what's left over. And what's left over is 2y equals 4, which is super easy to solve. I get y equals 2. And would I have to show any of that work? No, because once I cover this up, I can see that 2y equals 4 and y must be 2 and graph that point. Same thing for let y equal 0. If I took 2 times 0, that's going to give me 0. So I'm covering up that entire y um, value. And I have positive x equals 4. Well, I don't even have to keep going. Positive x equals 4, I'm done. Plot the point, connect the dots. So would I get the exact same thing if I showed all of my work? Of course I would. I'm just lazy, and I don't want to do that. So here is one for you to try. Go ahead and press pause, graph this. I don't care if you show work or not, but graph it and then press play to see how you did. So again, I'm going to use the cover up trick. Um, feel free to not write anything down at all. I'm just going to go ahead and recopy this two times um, so that I can draw all over it and not feel bad. So the first time I'm going to cover up the three X which leaves me with negative 4y equals 12. And again, feel free to rewrite that if you would like or need to. Divide each side by negative 4, I get negative 3. So y is negative 3. For my other one, I'm covering up minus 4y. So I get 3x equals 12, which means x equals 4. Again, I don't actually have to show any of that work. 
um, then just connect the dots to get a nice straight line and I'm done. The important thing to remember here is that minus stays with the 4 and that's how we get the negative here.